TD. Oscar Delp has three grabs for 31. Emma Conkey, one for 22. Leading tackler in the game is C.J. Allen. The true freshman linebacker has five tackles for the Bulldogs. Meanwhile, for Florida State quarterback Brock Glenn, and he is under fire constantly. He's 17 of 22 for 121 yards and one interception for uh, the Seminoles. Well, George on top, 42 to three. We will come back with second half action and scores from around the country for you in just a minute. No one gets you closer to the game than Sirius XM SEC Radio. Tune in for news, talk, and analysis from the offseason through the regular season and into the postseason. We've got your team covered anywhere you go. Get a free trial at SiriusXM.us forward slash SEC Radio 2023. More from Miami Gardens. With the Breda Pest Management Halftime Report continues after these words on the Bulldogs Sports Network. One of the toughest jobs in law enforcement is telling a family that a loved one has been killed by a drunk driver. That's why Georgia law enforcement works every day to keep drunk drivers off the road. Every DUI arrest could be one less family to lose someone to drunk driving. You can help. Hand the keys to a designated driver or call a ride service. It saves lives and prevents a costly DUI arrest. Drive sober or get pulled over. Brought to you by the Governor's Office of Highway Safety. Got a to-do list that's a mile long? Massey Ferguson has what you need to get it all done. Massey Ferguson's compact tractors are as tough as a junkyard dog on every task on your list and loaded with performance in an efficient red package. Do the job of a dozen different tools with just a few affordable attachments. Turn that to-do list to done with a straightforward and dependable Massey Ferguson today. Don't go anywhere. The dogs are coming right back. You're listening to the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. When are three letters more than three letters? When they represent 14 storied universities, generations of tradition and unbridled passion, stadiums and arenas swelled with diehard fans, more than 260 national titles, thousands of All-Americans, and hundreds of Olympians. And the one conference where every catch, shot, swing, and stride just means more. Ring, ring. No, that's not my phone. Just the bling on my fingers, baby. Ring, ring. Neil Honda Williamson here for Breda Pest Management, proud sponsor of the Bulldogs. I've used Breda for over a decade now, and our house is bug-free and critter-free always. Give Breda a call and keep your home free from bugs and critters. No need to be afraid of bugs. Breda Pest Management, B-R-E-D-A, pest.com. Breda, Breda. No need to be afraid of bugs. Welcome back to the Brady Pest Management Halftime Report. Neil Hondo Williamson, along with Adam Gillespie, our producer engineer here in the booth. We have Luke Ned Carney back in the Bulldog Studios. Chris Shivani helping us out, doing all kinds of stuff for us today. Some of us a tad infirm, and Chris has been a real trooper helping out uh, besides doing all of his regular duties. We'll come back with second half play by play and analysis with Scott, Eric, and DJ. Uh, shortly. First, let's check some out of town scores for you. Earlier today in the Trans Perfect Music City Bowl, yes, that's really what it's called. Uh, Maryland, 21 points in the first quarter on Auburn, and then the Terps rolled over the Tigers 31 to 13. Maryland improves to 8 and 5 to close out the season. Auburn finishes with a 6 and 7 mark in its first year under head coach Hugh Freeze. Also today, earlier in Atlanta in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, Ole Miss took it to Penn State. The 11th-ranked Rebels, 38. The 10th-ranked Nittany Lions, 25. As another SEC team stomping on a Big Ten team. We saw Missouri do that to Ohio State 
uh, just the other day. Uh, I guess that was yesterday. Man, they're all bunching together for me right now. But um, uh, Ole Miss winning that one, 38-25. to And in the Barstool CW Network Bowl, uh, Toledo leads Wyoming at halftime, 10-6. to Georgia basketball won today. Final score in that one was 90. I'm going to have to look that up, folks. I had it right here. Final score on that one was 93 to 73. That's right, dogs won. And the women, the lady dogs, it was a double header in Athens as the lady bulldogs won over Wofford today, uh, 77 to 56. So that's going to do it for your scoreboard. We'll come back with second half action here in Miami Gardens. Georgia leading the Orange Bowl over fifth ranked Florida State. It's 42 to three. No, that's not a typo. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Bulldog Sports Network. Back with Scott, Eric, and DJ after this on the Bulldog Sports Network. When you look to Northside Hospital Heart Institute, you see excellence. With a mission to heal your heart, we use the most innovative techniques and treatments, all to provide patients customized options and the most effective outcomes. Northside's cardiac surgery program has earned the highest rating given by the Society of Thoracic Surgeons for both open heart surgery and aortic valve replacement. No matter how routine or complex your heart care, you can always look to Northside. To learn more, visit northside.com slash excellence. What's up, dog fans? I'm bringing you some exciting news. Southeast Mortgage, the official home loan lender of the Georgia Bulldogs, is ready to help you win big in the home ownership game. Southeast Mortgage has a game plan tailored to your needs to get you in the end zone of your dream home. So whether you're a proud alum or a passionate fan, Southeast Mortgage will help you finance your home. It's time to huddle up with Southeast Mortgage. Visit our website at southeastmortgage.com slash UGA to start your home financing journey today. NMLS number 103956. Georgia Residential Mortgage Licensee number Six five seven eight. When the game's on the line, you can count on the Georgia Bulldogs to hunker down and pull out the victory. For over 20 years, Walton Gas has defended against tricky schemes like introductory rates and hidden fees. You always score with Walton's best-in-class service and straightforward rate plans. It's time you join a winning team. Sign up with the champs of customer satisfaction, Walton Gas. Call or visit waltongas.com to learn more about Georgia's most trusted natural gas provider. And as always, go dogs! With Kroger brand products, you can make all your favorite things this holiday season. Because Kroger brand's proven quality products come at exceptionally low prices. And with a money-back quality guarantee, every dish is sure to be a favorite. Whether you shop delivery, pickup, or in-store, Kroger brand has all your favorite things. Kroger, fresh for everyone. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield and JMI Sports under the broadcast rights granted by the University of Georgia. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the University of Georgia, Learfield, and JMI Sports. Announcers are provided by Learfield and JMI Sports and approved by the University of Georgia. Hey, back inside Hard Rock Stadium here in uh, Miami Gardens, Florida, northwest Part of Dade County, really closer to Fort Lauderdale than the city of Miami. But uh, Miami claims it, and Georgia claiming it right now as they are laying it on heavy against Florida State. 42 points in the first half of the Dogs, 42-3 to three they lead Florida State. And the Seminoles, much to their chagrin, will have to kick it away here to start the second half. Let's check in with Shock, who was in the locker room at halftime. DJ. Hey, fellas. A uh, spirit of Kirby Smart in the in, in halftime, but he said coming out of halftime, the number one offense will be out there except Carson Beck. So it will be a Gunner Stockton show to start it. He said, wait, we're going to keep being aggressive. We're going to keep throwing it. It's on them to stop us, and we need to finish this game the right way. All right, Shock. Good stuff. Florida State will send this one into the end zone. Down to the uh, left end of the field, far on the uh, far end of the field from our vantage point here for a touchback. As we watch it uh, for the second half, final 30 minutes of the season for Georgia. And we'll watch it from the Piedmont Healthcare Radio booth here at the Orange Bowl. 42-3 to as Georgia gets set to go from the 25-yard line. Yeah, and about every way you could dominate a football game, the Dogs did against this 
depleted FSU roster. 180 yards on the ground, 203 yards through the air, 383 total yards versus 185. None more intimidating than 42 to 3. And here's Gunnar Stockton starting the second half at quarterback. He's going to keep it and run on the first play from scrimmage for the Bulldogs. Tackled on the near sideline by Hussey, the safety. And Gunnar Stockton, the redshirt freshman from Tiger, Georgia, picks up a seven-yard positive gain for the Dogs on the run. Second down and two. We'll be catching in, uh, catching in with shock throughout the uh, broadcast here in the second half. DJ reports brought to you by attorney Ken Nugent. Second down and three. Actually, second and two. They added a yard to the run for Stockton, so he got eight yards. Second and two, and Georgia will run it to the opposite side this time as the Bulldogs send Dejon Edwards at left tackle. He's hit by Lyons and Nicholson, the linebacker, and a defensive lineman at the 33-yard line for no gain. Carson Beck finishes his afternoon, 13 out of 19, 203 yards, two touchdowns. What a inaugural season <laughs> for that young man. You're not kidding. My goodness. Dogs will roll it to the near side with Stockson. He cuts back inside. Gunner Stockton getting the start here in the second half, tackled by Kalen Deloach. Boy, maybe a little, of a, a little bit of a busted play there for may have been, yeah. Gunner on the outside looked like he was supposed to fake a handoff for somebody. That person wasn't there, so just uses athleticism to find a way to get the first down. He got six yards on the broken play, perhaps. And as Eric points out, a scan of energy first down for the Dogs here early in the third quarter. Stockton in the shotgun. Edwards to his right in the backfield. Snap it back to Gunner. Moves to his left. Jump pass. Throws it. One-handed grab low around the hips by Edwards. He caught it at the 45. Breaks a tackle in Florida State territory. And he's down where? Around the 35 of the Seminoles. Tackled by the free safety for Florida State. We'll see where they finally put it down. He broke away from the linebacker, Kalen Deloach, a senior from Savannah. He's their leading tackler this season. And Edwards just kind of made him look silly that time. Ball's on the Florida State 34. Another scan of energy first down for the Dogs. Boy, Gunner almost got himself into a little bit of trouble there, but able to find Dejan on the check down. And Edwards made a fantastic one-handed grab. Now he'll throw it out to Bell on a screen. Dylan Bell makes a catch in the left flat. And Byron Turner going to make the tackle at the 31-yard line. The short gain, only two yards on the play for Georgia. It'll be second down and eight for the Dogs, moving swiftly down the field at the Florida State 31, leading it already 42-3. to Cash Jones, C.J. Smith, Anthony Evans, some of your skill guys in the game right now. Jones in the backfield with Stockton. We run Smith in motion to the left side. Stockton looking to the right all the way. Oh, my goodness. Threaded the needle with that one. Marcus Rosemary, Jack Saint just snatches it right out of the air at the 14-yard line. Boy, Gunner, fortunate that wasn't picked off. It was a slant, and he had to hold the football just a little bit that allowed Florida State to be able to react on that football. I don't know how Marcus came down with that, that ball. It was thrown high and behind him out of the reach of the Florida State defender, and Marcus just goes up there and snatches it out of the air. Gunner had a little extra juice on that one. A little extra gunpowder, if you will, to the 14-yard line. Dogs in the Massey-Ferguson red zone again. They're making a living in there. Handoff, Cash Jones jumps over a blocker at the 14, down inside the 10, and tackled near the 6-yard line by Baker, one of their secondary men. Boy, Barker, excuse me, Barker, the man who made the tackle. Sorry about that, Scott. Nifty little move there by Cash Jones, hopping over people. A couple of quick little cuts, nifty cuts in the interior of that of that play. Dogs again knocking on the door. Seven yards for Cash. Gets the handoff here. Jones looking for running room. Bounces out to his right. They grab his jersey and pull him to the turf around the five-yard line. He may have two on the play. Stopped by uh, Cryer and Jones, a linebacker and a cornerback. And Georgia with a player a little shaken up. That's Tate Radledge kind of hobbling off the field. He was had the jog going. He grabbing at his low back as he gets to the sideline. So he has come out of the ball game. And Fairchild is in it, right guard. 
next to Xavier Truss, who's wearing 77 tonight. Hand off Cash Jones. Angles the opposite way to the left, running behind Big Ernest Green. And Jones will get to the two-yard line before he's stacked up by the Florida State defense. And Cryer, the first guy to get to him, a freshman linebacker from Katy, Texas. So now Cash going to head to the sidelines. Dejon Edwards going to come back in. Also, Chad Lindbergh comes in. And Jared Wilson comes in. The backup center. The dog's going with a jumbo package here. And enough on that last play to move the chains one time. So dogs now first and goal from the two. Stockton under center. Lucky the tight end back and forth. Reverse motion out of the eye. Handed off to Edwards behind the block. A fair child left side. Touchdown. Two-yard run. Dejon Edwards, his second score of the game. And the dominance in the trenches just continues. I don't care who you have in the football game on either side. When you win the trenches, you're going to win football games. And the dogs have dominated up front. Edwards and Milton, the top two scorers for Georgia this season. And not disappointing tonight. Micah Morris was the fullback. He got a block on the inside, and then Fairchild blocked out, and Edwards came in right behind them on a stand-up running uh, play into the end zone. They hit him right around the goal line, but he held on to the football easily and stayed upright for the score. And now it's 48-3 to with a point after coming from Peyton Woodrick. So Beck comes back into the game to hold on the snap by Moat, and the kick by Peyton is good. 49 to 3, 923 to go, third quarter. It's all dogs in the 90th edition of the Orange Bowl here in Miami. Timeout here in the third quarter. Our second half tonight brought to you by First Franklin Financial, serving our neighbors since 1941. 49 3, dogs in a route. Plenty more to come on the Bulldogs Sports Network. All of us love the Georgia Bulldogs. Hey, they're our team. At First Franklin Financial, we want to be your home team when you need extra cash. With over 120 locations in Georgia, we're fast, friendly, and right around the corner. Loan approvals are done right at the branch, so you can get your money right away, sometimes in the same day. Visit WeMakeLoans.com to find the First Franklin branch near you. All loan terms and APR depend on meeting our underwriting and income criteria and may require collateral. First Franklin Financial Corporation, NMLS number 141654. Georgia Residence Licensing number 5656. Offer not available in North Carolina. It's the final days of the Make the Holidays Bright sales event at your local Ford dealer. Don't miss your chance to get special offers on our adventure-ready Ford SUVs or on our great selection of Ford trucks. Choose from a large inventory of Ford vehicles equipped with technology, space, and flexibility for any season. So hurry in to your local Ford dealer today during the final days of the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. This is your home of the dogs. You're listening to the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Hello, I'm Neil Pruitt, Chairman and CEO of Pruitt Health. We believe family makes us stronger. Pruitt Health has served families and communities throughout the Southeast for more than 50 years. If you're looking for skilled nursing, home health, or hospice care, count on our caregivers to provide the personalized plan your loved one needs. Learn more. Visit PruittHealth.com. Pruitt Health is a proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs. Three beats are never easy, but Dogs fans are all in. And with Marco's, it's never been easier to feed your hungry watch party. Score two large one-topping pizzas and 15 wings for only $27.99 for a limited time. With house-made dough baked to golden perfection, a signature sauce recipe, fresh, never-frozen cheese, and high-quality toppings, Marco's three-peat deal is perfect for feeding your whole team. Order now for carryout or delivery through our app or at Marco's.com. And use code 3 P. Go Dawg! Inside the Piedmont Healthcare Radio booth, for our final football broadcast of the season, and it's going the dogs' way in a big way. Forty-nine to three. Circle will boom this one through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Florida State will have the ball at their twenty-five. Georgia on its opening possession of the second half goes seventy-five yards in ten plays, engineered by Gunner Stockton. Dejon Edwards with a two-yard touchdown run, his thirteenth. 
touchdown of the season. And it makes the score 49-3. to That's your Georgia Medals drive summary. From a doghouse to a dog's house, Georgia Medals has got you covered. They are getting their money's worth tonight with all drive summaries as the dogs are just eating up yardage and putting the ball in the end zone. Every possession but one so far tonight. Florida State will run it with Holmes. Bounces out to the right from the 25 and tackled by C.J. Allen, the linebacker, the 28 on the right side of the field. Three-yard gain for Holmes, a junior from Titusville, Florida. And it makes it second down and eight. They call it a two-yard gain. But he started at the 25 and went to the 28. That says three to me. Rough. Now they change it. Rough first half for Brock Glenn. Seven out of 22. Had an interception in that first half. He wants to throw here. He pulls it down, tries to escape the pocket by running up the right gap. And he is brought down to the turf and by Chaz Chambliss. And now a flag comes in. May have gotten the face mask. The Georgia linebacker. If that's the case, it will only be the second penalty of the game on the dogs. Personal foul, grasping and twisting the face mask. Defense, 15-yard penalty, automatic, first down. And by yardage, that's one of the bigger plays of the night for Florida State. You get 15 yards. Well, the quarterback had to pay for it, but 15 free yards on the face mask by the Georgia linebacker. And that will give them a first down. Those have also been rare for the Seminoles tonight. Florida State has 10 first downs. Georgia has 24. 458 yards of offense to 182 for the Dogs in Florida State. Georgia 250 through the air, 208 on the ground. Milton over 100 yards tonight. Dejon Edwards is probably headed in that direction. He's got 62 on seven carries. Glenn will hand it off to Holmes, the running back. Holmes on an angle, runs at left tackle. And stopped on the Orange Bowl logo near midfield by Dan Jackson. He's made a handful of tackles tonight. Yeah, nice job there by Jackson coming up quickly, filling uh, a hole that was there for a brief second until he got there. Stopped him on the 47 or 48. Hard to tell from this angle. It is second down for the Seminoles. Got a four-yard gain. Glenn, the quarterback. Back in the shotgun, split backfield. They snap it to Glenn, and he hands it off to Holmes, who will run it right, and Stackhouse is the first guy to get to him. Big lineman left his feet, had his arms wrapped around the waist of the Florida State running back, drags him down to the turf before he gets to midfield. Looks to be a ball still on the logo as they run away from our broadcast booth. It looks to be about the 47, 48-yard line. It'll be third down coming up for the Seminoles. When you're in the back end of the end zone, it's it's hard to get any depth to tell where the ball is <laughs> exactly what yard line it's on. We're doing the best we can tonight. Pressure on Glenn as he throws the football. Ball goes almost straight up in the air and just flutters to the right out of bounds. Nowhere near the intended target. He got a nasty blow, and there's a flag down in the Florida State backfield uh, after the hit, maybe in conjunction with the hit. Was that Jalen Walker that... Got the lick on Glenn, the quarterback, and the ball went straight up in the air and fluttered incomplete to the right. It's going to be holding against Florida State as the early indicator. Referee looking over to the Georgia sideline right now to see if we want to accept the penalty. Holding offense number 53. That penalty's declined. Result of play is fourth down. C.J. Allen was the guy that got the lick on the quarterback. You know, and Brock Glenn, Z, at that point, he might say to his lineman, look, if you're going to hold... I don't hold. need to be getting no, hit. No, if you're going to hold, make <laughs> it <got> drilled. <laughs> That's right. You held the wrong guy. <laughs> hold them all if you're going to hold. Yeah, Florida State will punt it now on fourth down. Georgia declines the penalties. You heard Greg Bloom, the referee. Florida State punts it away, trying to pin in Georgia deep. Anthony Evans way down there. I think he's in the next county over the Broward County line is where he's down there catching the football. And he makes the fair catch in the vicinity of the Georgia 10. I think maybe the 9. It's hard to tell from down here. Well, we got a timeout. We'll figure it out and give it to you 
on the other side. It's all Georgia tonight, 49 to 3. Dogs lead Florida State Orange Bowl action here in the third quarter. Our second half is brought to you by First Franklin Financial. Visit 1FFC.com to learn more. Back after this on the Bulldog Sports Network. There's nothing quite like Saturday between the hedges at Sanford Stadium. And as an official partner of the Georgia Bulldogs, the Hoffman Financial Group knows that in retirement, every day is Saturday. Whether your goal is to follow the dogs to every game, home and away, or gather with your friends to watch at your own doghouse, the Hoffman Financial Group is here to help. We all have dreams of when we want to retire and all the fun things we want to do. But then all the questions come up. Did I save enough? What if taxes go up? What if the market goes down? The Hoffman Financial Group can help help answer those questions and more with a complimentary portfolio x-ray get your game plan for retirement started today call 770-758-6288 that's 770-758-6288 or online at unleashyourmoney.com and set up your free portfolio x-ray Investment advisory services offered through Brookstone Wealth Advisors, a registered investment advisor. Insurance and annuities offered through the Hoffman Financial Group, Inc. Georgia Insurance License, 163546. I'm attorney Ken Nugent, and I'm here with legendary Georgia Bulldog quarterback and radio host Buck Palou. Ken and I are teaming up to give back to the brave men and women of our military. Ken's going to donate $500 to one member of the military every Bulldog football game this season. If you're a member of the military, go to attorneykennugent.com to enter. And somebody's going to win $500 every game. One click. That's it. Ken Nugent, proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Looking for exciting new games with a progressive jackpot you can win on the spot? The wait is over. Introducing Quick Win from the Georgia Lottery, the fastest way to win a progressive jackpot that starts at $50,000 and grows as more people play. Just buy a Quick Win ticket at the counter or online, look to see if you matched, and you could win the jackpot or tons of other instant cash prizes right there on the spot. So don't wait. Play the all-new Quick Win only from the Georgia Lottery. Play responsibly. Back with you once again inside the Piedmont Healthcare Radio booth here at the Orange Bowl, Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Governor's Office of Highway Safety says the penalty for getting a DUI cost up to $10,000. That's why the Governor's Office of Highway Safety says drive sober so you won't get pulled over. And remember that this New Year's Eve and New Year's. I want you to be around to cheer for the Bulldogs safe and sound well into 2024. 49 to 3. The Dogs' first possession of the game way back in the first quarter ended on downs going over to Florida State. Since then, the Dogs have had the ball seven times, and the result has been seven touchdowns. Now they start on their own 10, way down at the far left end of the field. Gunner Stockton in at quarterback. Redshirt freshman from Tiger, Georgia. Get some extended playing time here in the postseason. He will throw out of the pocket, and he fires incomplete. To his left, near the sideline, wanted to go to Dylan Bell, and he was covered up by uh, Azaria Thomas, a sophomore, and the pass ended up incomplete around the 15-yard line or so. So it'll be second down and 10 dogs from the 10. Fade stop there on the outside. Pretty good coverage by Florida State. Ball was pretty well thrown as well. Just better coverage, good defensive play by the Knowles. Cedric Van Pran is out of the game now, and... Uh, Jared Wilson is on in his place as the center. But I hand it off to big O. Roderick Robinson running for the first time in the ballgame. Gets his first carry. Breaks free at the line of scrimmage. Angles to the left sideline and picks up a scan of energy first down. Tackled near the sideline or run out of bounds uh, around the 24-yard line. 24-25. It's going to be a first down for the Bulldogs. And a 14-yard run. Boy, good to see Robinson running the football. Broke a tackle at the line of scrimmage. Easily got to the second level for the big game. Robinson, first out of the backfield, goes in motion to the near side. Stockton throws it over the middle. Passes a little bit low. Never got to his target, Anthony Evans. And it short hopped the receiver around the Georgia 40-yard line. Incomplete ball. Evans changes his number from 17, which he wore all season long, to number 9 tonight. And the incomplete pass stops the clock with 6.16 to go third quarter. Second down and 10 coming up for Georgia from our own 24-yard line, leading it 49-3. to 
Gunner Stockton will go under center this time. And a stretch handoff to Robinson, who got a head start seven yards deep in the end zone. Broke a leg tackle around the 30, just kind of stepped right through it. Kept going for another five yards to the 35. Brown and Barker in the secondary made the stop for the Florida State defense. They may not have wanted to when you see that big zero coming at you. It's not quite like it, but it's almost similar to the big O, Darnell Washington. <laughs> not quite the size and stature, but a 240-pound back coming your way with a full head of steam. Yeah, that's not fun to fun to tackle. And right now, if you're in a white jersey, it doesn't really matter who you are. You're winning the battle up front. Cash Jones in the backfield. Play fake to him. Stockton rolls to his right, throws it on the run. The tight end, Sperlin, makes the catch. Pierce off up the near sideline, rumbling and stumbling into Florida State territory. And... Tackled at the 34 of the Seminole. Boy, Sperling showing a little bit of speed, too. Just slipped out of the backfield. little flat route as Gunner was rolling to his right. Easy pitch and catch and all kinds of room for Sperling just to spread those long legs out. Just his third catch of the year. Picks up a scan of energy first down at the Florida State 34-yard line. Stockton will go under center again. They ran a man in motion to the left and hand it off. Between the tackles run, straight ahead by the Bulldogs is Robinson again, the freshman from Imperial, California, San Diego, California, if you will. And this time Florida State jams it up pretty good right around the 30. They spot it back on the 31. Three-yard pickup for Robinson. It'll be second down and seven. Yeah, one of the few runs that the dogs had that we just haven't been able to gash Florida State and immediately get to the second level. Not used to seeing that this afternoon. Stockton in the shotgun now. Empty set. Three receivers to the right of the quarterback. Two to the left. Stockton going to run out of the pocket. He's got some quicks to the 30. Shakes the man at the 28, but Florida State going to get enough of the jersey to hang on and drag him to the ground right in front of our sideline on this near side of the field. Gunner Stockton with good speed. Blake Nicholson, the linebacker, is the guy that was able to get him on the ground. The freshman from California. Florida State has a player shaken up on a knee on the far side of the field. That'll halt play for a moment. That's Daniel Lyons, a defensive lineman. And we got a timeout with 3.51 to go in the third quarter. Georgia on the move, moving the ball from our own 10 so far to the Florida State 26. We've got an injury timeout for Florida State. It's the Dogs 49, Florida State 3. Our second half brought to you by First Franklin Financial. Go see the friendly Franklin folks at one of their convenient Georgia locations. Back in a moment, Bulldog Sports Network. Hey, Georgia, let's get you covered. Do concerns about the cost keep you from getting the medical care you need? Does health coverage seem confusing? Georgia Access is our state's way for all residents to find quality, affordable health insurance. At GeorgiaAccess.gov, you can explore a variety of plans that meet your needs and budget and find information about financial assistance. You may qualify for low-cost or no-cost coverage. Open enrollment begins November 1st. Visit GeorgiaAccess.gov today to learn more. Georgia Access, your health, your way. Proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs. Do you call the dogs in your sleep? See bulldogs in the clouds? Never wear orange and blue together? If so, there's no better way to show your dog nation pride than with the Georgia Bulldogs Regents Visa Debit Card and prepaid Regents Now Card. As passionate as you are about the Bulldogs, Regents is even more passionate about celebrating your every financial win and helping you plan for the next one. To order your card, visit regents.com slash go dogs. Regents, official bank of the SEC. Member FDIC. Terms, conditions, and fees apply. The dogs are heard right here. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. NFL Draft, last three years, which position group was drafted most? Cornerback, because everybody wants a lockdown. Neil Honda Williamson here for Breda Pest Management, my lockdown for keeping bugs and critters out. Hey, dogs fans, if you get Breda in your corner, you'll keep the bugs and critters outside where they belong. Breda Pest Management, B R E D A Pest.com. No need to be afraid of bugs. 
The holidays are always hectic, but with the BMW i5 and iX, you can make them 100% electric. Make every journey a thrill with the cutting-edge driver technology in the BMW iX. Or step into the first-ever BMW i5 with its dynamic performance and iconic presence. Find your ultimate 100% electric BMW at the Electric BMW Road Home Sales Event. And turn the holidays from hectic to electric. BMW, the ultimate electric driving machine. Proud sponsor of Georgia Athletics. Visit BMWATL.com for great offers. Go dog. Back inside the Piedmont Healthcare Radio booth here at the Orange Bowl. Now through January 2nd during the BMW Road Home Sales event, receive a combined credit of up to $2,500 plus 2.99% APR on select models. For more details, visit BMWATL.com today. Proud sponsor of the Georgia Bulldogs and Georgia Athletics. And go dogs. 49-3, Georgia leading Florida State. Third quarter, 349. Clock has begun to tick after an injury timeout. Dogs break the huddle quickly. Third down and two on the 26 of the Seminoles. Dogs will run it. Handoff. Breaking tackles is Robinson again. The big guy spinning. Got the first down. He wasn't done. Spinning for more across the 20, down inside the 20 to around the 17, maybe 18-yard line into the Massey-Ferguson red zone either way. We'll see where they spotted the football. Yes, they put it down on the 17-yard line. Brown out of the secondary had to make the tackle, and Georgia gets a first down Boy, on Seminoles, a nine-yard run. Seminoles just holding on for dear life, saying, please, somebody trip him. <laughs> Andrew Paul into the game now, but Georgia will go with an empty set. Stockton will pull it down. Breaks away from a jersey. Try to tackle him. He tugged away, kept his jersey intact, and down inside the five on the run by Gunner Stockton, the quarterback. And Florida State has another player shake it up. Azaria Thomas, the cornerback, stopped Stockton from getting into the end zone at the five, and he is the player that was injured. So Gunner... Pulled that thing down, ran out of the pocket, and they had a fistful of jersey, but that wasn't going to slow down number 14. He kept on going down inside the five on the 12-yard run. It's going to be goal to go as they spot the ball on the four-yard line. So first and goal on the Florida State four-yard line. The white flag might be coming up pretty soon from the other side of the field. I don't think there's any question about that. That was just a design quarterback draw and yards after contact now really starting to pile up for the for the dogs and you're right no mercy is is probably coming out here pretty quick 49 to 3 dogs on the florida state four looking for more let's check in with dj on the georgia sideline shockley's reports brought to you by attorney ken nugent dj what do you got Hey, fellas, one thing to uh, pay attention to is at halftime, Coach Mark talked to all these guys about, hey, a lot of guys are going to play in the second half. If you're on the field, play like a starter. I want somebody to earn starting time going into 2024. So he's already putting it into these guys' brain. Hey, you want to have a chance to make a name for yourself, here's a good chance to do it in some live action. So all these guys got to have a mindset of, I'm a starter going in the game. And they did that on both sides of the ball, going back and forth about all the guys coming in. Yeah, DJ, I see a lot of uh, a lot of reserve numbers in that huddle right now as uh, time has been halted for an injury for Florida State. They've had a handful of those tonight. Three first-half turnovers. Georgia scored 42 points in the opening half. We only had 38 in the first half of the championship game last year against TCU. Yeah, our last two bowl games pretty been pretty comfortable to call, yeah. I would say. <laughs> Cruise control. The last time the dogs were here, what was it, 34 points, 34 to 11? Was that the final over Michigan a couple of years ago? Now 49 to 3, and still plenty of time to go, and the dogs threatening for more here on the Florida State 4 when time comes back in play. And the dogs are just racking up yardage left and right. Florida State has been unable to stop Georgia all night long. On the first possession, I take that back, they, they did stop Georgia on downs. Since then, it's been seven possessions. This is the eighth since that first stop and seven touchdowns previously. And the dogs looking to make it eight in a row if they can punch it in from four yards away here. So here we go. The injury timeout is over. And Georgia with 
Wilson at center, Fairchild and Morris, the guards, Lindbergh and Freeling are the tackles. Stockton is the quarterback. You've got Lucky in at tight end. Pierce Sperlin has played. Andrew Paul's on the field as a running back. Cole Spears in the game. C.J. Smith, Anthony Evans as receivers. Back in the shotgun is Stockton. Cash Jones has subbed into the game now. Now they shift out of the shotgun, go under center. And play fake Stockton sets up. He stumbles out of the snap and throws it into the end zone. Caught by Lucky, tumbling across the goal line for the score. It's 55-3. to three. Touchdown to Lawson Lucky, the tight end. Boy, that play was almost a disaster, too. Gunnar Stockton tripped out of, after coming out from center, somehow able to regain his balance and find Lucky for the touchdown connection. And dogs continue to roll. Lawson Lucky with only his second catch of his Georgia career and his first career touchdown comes in the Orange Bowl. Nice moment for him. 55-3. to three. And number 56 is about to be attempted here. Moat will snap it. Beck will hold it. And Peyton Woodring will supply the leg power. And the kick is up. And the kick is good. 56-3. to three. Georgia just wailing on Florida State here in the Orange Bowl. 2.30 to go, third quarter. That drive was 90 yards, folks. 10 plays, 90 yards, and 4.31. Four-yard touchdown pass from Gunnar Stockton to Lawson Lucky. That's your Georgia Medals drive summary from a dog's house. Let me try that again. From a dog house to a dog's house, Georgia Medals has got you covered. Georgia closing in on 600 yards of offense tonight. We're at 548 for the game. Florida State has 193. The Dogs have passed for 285 and rushed for another 263. And the the statistics just heavily in favor of Georgia. The leading ball carrier tonight, Kendall Milton. Nine carries, 104 yards. Carson Beck out of the game already. 13 for 18, 203. Two touchdowns. The route continues. That's your third quarter recap presented by Ag South, Ag Georgia, Southwest Georgia Farm. Credit loans for land and farms. And Zirkle's kick. Well, no, we had a new guy kicking now. That was that was Peyton. That was Woodring. Kicking off. And same result. Into the end zone for the touchback. So Jared Zirkle will be gone after this season. And then uh, Peyton Woodring may or may not handle those duties next year. We shall see. He's been the place kicker so far for the Dogs this season and has done an outstanding job. The freshman from Lafayette, Louisiana. Florida State football on their own 25. Well, if you're Florida State right now, this is just all about pride. you got two and a half minutes left in the third quarter. You're getting boat raced. Can you keep fighting? Florida State will take it with Ja'Kai Douglas, and he will run it to the left side of the field. He's still playing with a little bit of energy. Number zero, junior from Homa, Louisiana, 5'9 and 190. He's run a lot of wildcat type stuff tonight. They've had a little bit of success with it. You know, basically uh, between the 20s, not anywhere near the end zone. Florida State only has three points tonight. But that carry took him from the 25 to the 31, a gain of six yards. And now Glenn is back in at quarterback out of the pistol. Man in motion to the right, play fake. Glenn sets up in the pocket, throws a deep ball down the middle, and it is overthrown and intercepted by Georgia. Intercepted on the overthrow, Dalen Everett caught it. They were trying to get it to Hakeem Williams, but Everett with the interception, fourth turnover of the game by Florida State. And Glenn tried to throw a deep post there. Dogs had that covered up underneath and over the top. Flags now out in the field as the Dogs are celebrating. A lot of guys... Onto the field. So it's going to be tacked on to the end of the return or the interception as we caught it and fell down. So a little bit more yardage to go for this dog's offense, but the domination continues. The result of the play is an interception. It'll be first down for Georgia. After the play, what? <laughs> Unsportsmanlike conduct. Defense number 38. It's his first unsportsmanlike conduct, 15 yards a second, results in game disqualification. 
The interception was made by Everett down at the Georgia 31-yard line. As he said, he tumbled to the ground after he caught that overthrown ball on the pick. And then Georgia had a convoy of players that came down to this end of the field and had a little impromptu celebration, and that's why they threw the flag. Uh, at this point, like it matters, you know. <laughs> uh, so Georgia will have the ball. Fourth turnover of the game, and the mocking of Florida State's war chant continues by the Georgia fans. And Georgia will have the possession at their own 16-yard line. A check of the Merriweather and Tharp scoreboard. Merriweather and Tharp, the Atlanta divorce team. Ole Miss wins the Peach Bowl. They beat Penn State 38 to 25. Maryland wins the Music City Bowl over Auburn 31 to 13. Dogs basketball beat Alabama A&M today 93 to 73. The Dogs are now 10 and 3 for the year and will play uh, Missouri in the SEC opener. That's the next game a week from today in Columbia, Missouri. I'm sure it'll be 65 degrees there uh, next Saturday. Also, uh, Toledo leads Wyoming 12 to 6 third quarter in the who can name the corporate sponsor for that bowl game you're close the barstool sports arizona bowl <laughs> all right thanks to adam for those scores and merriweather and tharp we appreciate it well the georgia band decided to get into the taunting as well as they started playing the music to the tomahawk chop <laughs> Everybody's having a big old time. It's a rousing good time for Georgia and their fans tonight. The Dogs way down on the left end of the field from the 16. will run it with Cash Jones to the left towards the Florida State sideline. He was running on an angle, and let's see where they finally pushed him into the boundary. Just shy of the 25-yard line, about a nine-yard run. Cryer, the linebacker, in pursuit of Cash Jones and making sure he goes out of bounds. Gain of nine, second and a yard to go at the Georgia 25, left end of the field. A little quick pitch to the outside, and Cash just outran every Florida State defender to get outside of contain. He will do a lot of that. That dude can run. Stockton in the backfield in the shotgun with Andrew Paul now in it, running back, and Andrew will get the carry, his first opportunity. Florida State man grabbed him around the waist in the backfield. Paul carried him for a yard or so. Byron Turner the defensive end and the tackle is made maybe around the line of scrimmage. I'm not sure if he got the first down. Did he? He spotted the ball on the 25 so no. Still got a little bit of work to do. They say no gain on the play so it's third and one. Got to get to the 26 or at least in that vicinity. Dogs taking their time in the huddle. Nine seconds left on the play clock. 22 seconds left on the third quarter. Jared Wilson, the new center, snaps it back to Gunnar Stockton. Hands it to Andrew Paul. He bursts out to the right side. And here he comes, rumbling up the field all the way to the 40. Broke a tackle around the 35. And Jabril Rawls in the secondary got Andrew Paul to the turf. Picks up the first down and a little bit more up to the 41s where they finally spot it. Well, yards after contact just continue and continue and continue as the third quarter ends. 16-yard run for Andrew Paul. The yards are racking up. Georgia closing in on 600 total yards of offense. It is a wonderful night to be a Bulldog. Georgia 56, Florida State 3. 15 minutes to go. Final quarter of the year. And the entire team raising their hands into the air, their arms in the air with four fingers in the air in unison with the Georgia faithful here at Hard Rock Stadium. A sight to behold as we light up the Hard Rock here in Miami. Our second half is brought to you by First Franklin Financial, serving our neighbors since 1941. Dogs 56, Seminoles 3, fourth quarter on the way on the Bulldogs Sports Network. Never! Attention Georgia Bulldogs football fans. Napa is here to help you hit the road this season. As a proud partner of University of Georgia football, Napa helps you tackle tough projects. With a network of nearly 6,000 auto parts stores and over 17,000 auto care centers nationwide. So whenever your mean machine is coming down the track, know that the Napa network has your back. Napa! 
bottle of Christmas is over, and it's time to treat myself for all of my hard work. So of course I went to Kohl's, and boy I'm glad I did, because it's their biggest clearance event of the season. I saved 70% on a cute pair of jeans, a cozy sweater, and some comfy PJs. Yep, going to Kohl's was just what I needed. Now to get back in the holiday spirit for New Year's. Select styles, up to 70% offer in January 21st. Some exclusions apply. See store or Kohl's.com for details. No matter your favorite game day traditions, it all starts with a cup of coffee to get you ready to cheer on a Bulldogs win. Community Coffee is a proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs, serving Bulldog Nation with rich and smooth blends crafted right here in the USA. We've supported and celebrated thriving communities like the UGA family for over 100 years, and we believe there's no better day than game day for bringing people together. Community Coffee, strong as our roots. Holidays start here at Kroger with a variety of options to celebrate traditions old and new. You could do a classic herb roasted turkey or spice it up and make turkey tacos. Serve up a go-to shrimp cocktail or use Simple Truth Wild Caught Shrimp for your first Cajun risotto. No matter how you shop, Kroger has all the freshest ingredients to embrace all your holiday traditions. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Inside the Piedmont Healthcare Radio booth here at Hard Rock Stadium to begin the fourth quarter. Georgia 56, Florida State 3. And the dogs will line up to snap it from their own 39 yard line. First and 10. Break the huddle. Now switch ends of the field. They'll be driving away from us in their white jerseys and silver breeches and red helmets. Stockton in the shotgun with. Roderick Robinson. Big Roderick going to get the handoff. Stiff arms a man on the right side. He's off and running across midfield into Seminole territory. He made a guy pay at the end. One of the little secondary guys, Brown. Ouch. He just got run over. He did make the tackle, but Robinson made him pay for it. He broke away from Graham, the linebacker, and just kept on running to the Florida State 41-yard line. Another missed tackle at the line of scrimmage for the Florida State. That's been a common theme tonight as well dogs up and ready to go Stockton claps his hands they snap it pressure from the edge he avoids it by rolling to the right pump fakes gonna keep it and run far sideline they grab him up around the shoulder pads try to twist him down he'll go down out of bounds inside the Seminole 30 at the 27 yard line far side of the field Turner the tackle and a gain of about 14 on that run by Gunner Stockton. Let's pause 10 seconds. Station identification, Bulldog Sports Network. WSB Atlanta, WSB BFM, and HD1 Doraville. 95.5 WSB, Atlanta's news and talk. Ball's on the 28. They call it a 13-yard run for Stockton. First and 10, Georgia. Play fake to the left, roll to the right. Stockton just going to have to throw it away. He had a defender right on top of him trying to make the sack. That was Brown, who made a good play defensively for the Seminoles. They haven't had a whole lot of those tonight, but that was a good one by Shaheen Brown. And Stockton just had to unload it down the field incomplete. Our announced attendance tonight here at the 90th Orange Bowl game, 63,324. And most of those in red and black are still in attendance. Garnet and gold, not so much. Capacity of this place is just over 65,000, so that's a good crowd announced. Here's Cash Jones stiff-arming and leaping over players as he runs laterally to the left. And now going to get a little positive yardage as he gets close to the sideline. Way down to the far left end of the field, Cash Jones. Out of bounds where? Picked up the first down. At the 18-yard line, got 10 yards. He ran about 45 or so, but he picked up 10 north and south. Yeah, just the speed of Cash Jones again, able to get outside a contain of this Florida State defensive unit. Dogs back to their second home tonight, the Massey Ferguson red zone. And this time Gunnar Stockton escapes a tackle for a sack in the backfield, runs to his left. He just broke away from a guy that had him wrapped up. 
And there's a crowd of bodies down there. Can't tell where the ball uh, will be spotted, but Stockton hit near the Georgia sideline on the left side of the field. Kevin Knowles was the guy that made the tackle finally as uh, Stockton was able to elude the tackler. Would have been a sack the first of the game in the backfield. Uh, But Stockton was able to fight his way loose from it. He got to the 14. That was a three-yard run. Should have been a lost yardage play. Yeah, design quarterback draw. He was hemmed up, nowhere to go, and another missed tackle. Stockton to throw. Long pass, far right corner of the end zone, and caught touchdown. Anthony Evans over the shoulder and one-on-one. Now he's doing a little dance in the back corner of the end zone. Boy, what a catch right there by Evans. Another fade from the inside slot position. Ball perfectly thrown by Gunner Stockton. Evans able to go up and go get it, and Dogs just pouring it on. Anthony Evans, first touchdown catch of his career. Fourth catch of the Result season. Of the a touchdown after the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. <laughs> Offense number nine. 15-yard penalty will be assessed in the kickoff. It is number nine's first 15-yard unsportsmanlike conduct. A second result in game disqualification. Well, Anthony Evans gave us a little Billy White Shoes Johnson in the corner with that dance. And the officiating crew from the Big Ten says that's a no-no. And they flagged Anthony Evans after the touchdown. But 62 points tonight for Georgia. And Peyton Sperling waiting to add on number 63. And we still have 12 minutes and 10 seconds to go. Florida State cannot stop Georgia's offense regardless of who is on the field. And we're deep into the reserves already. Woodring to try the point after try out of the hole to Beck. The kick is up and into the net. Good. 63 to not, uh, 63 to 3. Excuse me. 63 to 3 Georgia over Florida State. 12-10 to go in the 2023 Orange Bowl. Our second half is brought to you by First Franklin Financial. Go see the friendly Franklin folks at one of their convenient Georgia locations. Back to Miami after this on the Bulldog Sports Network. The Onyx Hunt app is trusted by millions of hunters nationwide to help them be more successful every year. Onyx provides up-to-date nationwide landowner names and tax addresses, color-coded public and private land boundaries, tools such as custom waypoints, save maps for use without cell service, and even integrates with trail cameras. Onyx costs less than a box of shells and will help you be more successful this year. Try Onyx Hunt risk-free for seven days or save 20% off with the code BULLDOGS at onyxmaps.com slash hunt. Georgia is our home. That's why at Georgia Power, we're building the future of energy. Over the last decade, we've invested nearly $10 billion to strengthen the electric grid, installing new substations, upgrading transformers, moving power lines underground, and investing in cleaner energy. We're making the electric grid more resilient and reliable for you and for future generations. At Georgia Power, we know that making smart investments today prepares us to meet our customers' needs tomorrow. This is the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. Don't you mean fa la 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 la? Nope, we're shaking things up. Whatever you say. Shake things up this season at the Toyota Don sales event. Lease a new 2024 Toyota RAV4 LE for $339 a month for 24 months, plus $500 holiday bonus cash. Toyota, let's go places. Offer valid through January 2nd, 2024. Well qualified lessees with approved credit through Southeast Toyota Finance. 3638 do it signing. No security deposit with select equipment. 350 disposition fee. Excludes tax, tag, registration, title, and dealer fees. See dealer for details. Get ready for kickoff at the UGA Bookstore, featuring the best Bulldog gifts and apparel. Shop all the great brands at the UGA Bookstore, like Nike, Tommy Bahama, Vineyard Vines, Southern Tide, Peter Millar, and Columbia. The UGA Bookstore in the heart of campus next to the Tate Student Center. Shop online 24-7 at ugabookstore.com. The UGA Bookstore, it's where dogs shop. In the Piedmont Healthcare Radio booth, we are watching an onslaught. Georgia 63, Florida State 3. The Dogs just went 69 yards in 9 plays in 4 minutes and 31 seconds. Gunner Stockton with another touchdown pass, this time to Anthony Evans for 14 yards. 
to make it 63-3. to That's your Georgia Metals drive summary from a doghouse to a dog's house. Georgia Metals has got you covered. 15-yard penalty after the touchdown on Georgia for unsportsmanlike. And we'll kick it off with Peyton Woodring from the 20. High-hanging kick. They call for the fair catch at the 10. And Georgia, or Florida State, rather, will get it at the 25-yard line. So Florida State trails by 60. It's not every day you can say that. 12-10 to go in the game. Champions for Charity game is on every time the Dogs win. Camp Twin Lakes, Annandale Village, and Children's Health Care of Atlanta win because Walton Gas will donate $1,000 to these local charities for every regular season win. And for every bowl game the Dogs win, Walton Gas will donate $5,000. Everyone's a winner with Walton Gas. Florida State runs it right side around the right tackle with Douglas, Ja'Kai Douglas. And the little guy up close to the 30 before he's hit there on the edge by the Bulldogs' defense at the 29-yard line. He got four. Second down and six for the Seminoles. And the Orange Bowl trophy starting to be filled with oranges and polished up for the postgame celebration. That'll be headed back to Athens. Brock Glenn, the quarterback. Freshman has gone the whole way outside of the wild dog plays that Florida State likes to run, or at least that they're running in this game. And the ball is loose in the backfield. Florida State going to turn around and dive on. They try to run a speed sweep, I think, to Williamson. And Georgia just exploded on the play defensively. And the ball came loose on the mesh of the handoff. Florida State was able to fall on it back behind the line around the 20, around the 18 or 19 yard line. Boy, just a revolving door was the FSU offensive line that played. Dogs actually beat the, the intended runner to the ball. That was Gabe Harris that broke up the play and got upfield with deep penetration from the Georgia defense. Now here's Glenn going to throw it for Florida State. Out to Williamson at the 30. Goes down to one knee and makes the catch there. Georgia defender flies over the top of the Florida State receiver at the end of the play, but he'd already touched the knee down. And uh, the Georgia defender there was trying to avoid that contact. Didn't want to get another flag. And it's not enough for the first down. So it'll be fourth and four at the 31 for Florida State. And they'll punt it away here. Mastromano will kick it away. Anthony Evans back, calling for the fair catch, waves the right arm, and makes the grab at the Georgia 22 or 23 yard line. Georgia will have the ball back, timeout with 10.06 to go in the 90th edition of the Orange Bowl here in Miami. It's all Bulldogs tonight, 63 to 3. They lead Florida State. And our second half is brought to you by First Franklin Financial. Visit 1FFC.com to learn more. Back to Hard Rock Stadium after this. Bulldog Sports Network. When you live in SEC country, you feel it everywhere you go. The traditions and rivalries surround you. As much as you celebrate the game, Regions celebrates your financial wins even more. And like SEC fans, we'll never quit. Because in an SEC world, we're the SEC Bank. Regions, official bank of the SEC. Member FDIC. I'm attorney Ken Nugent, and I'm here with legendary Georgia Bulldog quarterback and radio host Buck Palou. Ken and I are teaming up to give back to the brave men and women of our military. Ken's going to donate $500 to one member of the military every Bulldog football game this season. If you're a member of the military, go to attorneykennugent.com to enter. And somebody's going to win $500 every game. One click. That's it. Ken Nugent, proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. You think a sore shoulder is going to stop me from soaring past offenders? You think a torn ACL can tear me down? Think again. Grit doesn't stop at the gridiron because girls are unstoppable. We fought to get girls black football in over 250 Georgia high schools. You better believe we're going to fight to get back out there. That's why I trust Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. As Georgia's team sports injury experts, they understand my unique needs and my drive to get back in the game. Get the right team behind you. Go to choa.org slash teens to learn more. 
When choosing a natural gas provider, look out for blitzes, tricky schemes, or formations meant to distract you, like introductory rates, hidden fees, and poor customer service. Walton Gas knows that customer satisfaction is about having more than a great rate. After over 20 years of providing natural gas to homes and businesses across Georgia, Walton Gas continues to give each customer straightforward rate plans and the best customer experience. Call Walton Gas or visit waltongas.com to learn more about Georgia's most trusted natural gas provider. Back with you in the Piedmont Healthcare Radio booth here at Hard Rock Stadium. Georgia with a 60-point lead over Florida State. It's 63-3. to Dogs have not punted all night. They have not committed a turnover. The only stop that Florida State has been able to register was the first possession of the game. And Georgia drive, drove until the drive stalled and then turned the ball over on down. Since then, it's been nine consecutive touchdowns. By Georgia's offense, Florida State has contributed with four turnovers here in the ball game. Gunner Stockton in at quarterback from the 22 of the Bulldogs. Handoff to Robinson. Finds a seam. Bursts through it up to the 30, and they ride him down around the 31-32 yard line. Quick 9 or 10 yard burst by Roderick Robinson for the Dogs. Barker and Nicholson, the linebacker and a secondary man, ride Robinson to the ground. It's spotted at the 31, so it'll be a nine-yard run for Rod. And that's been the story of this of this football game. On top of all the opt-outs and Florida State not being fully loaded with their team, it's been the domination of the dogs in the trenches that, that have just told the story in this football game. And I don't think it matters who would have played for Florida State tonight. Dogs came to play. Here's Robinson again running right behind Drew Bobo at left guard. The son of the offensive coordinator in the game now, and Robinson with another nice run, just straight up the guts, just power running up to the 35-yard line. Four-yard run and a first down for the ball uh, for the Bulldogs, as Andrew Paul will now check into the backfield. So the Dogs' offensive line is Jared Wilson at center, and the aforementioned Bobo at left guard, Micah Morris at right guard, and then Chad Lindbergh, Monroe Freeling, the tackles on the edges. I think they might have Michael Morris at tackle on the left side now. So, yeah, Morris is in at left tackle. Getting a little extra work there. He's worked at guard as well. Here's Stockton with a play fake. Going to keep it, and Florida State defends it well. And they get Stockton behind the line at the 34-yard line. Yeah, good penetration there by Florida State. Nice job scraping from the linebacker position as well. One of the few times today George has been stopped for no gain on the ground. One of the guys was uh, Daryl Jackson, backup defensive tackle from Havana, Florida. Made the stop for Florida State. Georgia huddles, trying to work some clock here, let it get down, nearing eight minutes to go. It's 63-3, to but the guys that are in the game want to keep playing hard. They want to score, too. Here's Paul. Takes a handoff. Runs to the left, sweeps up the field now, across the 40, runs into the arms in the second level of a lot of Garnet and gold uniforms, but he crossed the 40-yard line. Let's see where they spot it down. On the run by Andrew Paul at the 42-yard line. Well, another nice pickup of eight yards there on the ground for Georgia. And Florida State, they want to get this dog's team They're off the field. They're going to have to bow their neck a little bit and find a way to show a little bit of grit. 34th. Or 34 first downs for Georgia tonight. Looking for their 35th here on the third down and three play coming up. Cash Jones is in the game in the backfield. Snap it back to Stockton in the shotgun. Hit as he throws, and that ball just comes out and lands on the logo incomplete. He got wailed on when he was releasing the football, and it wasn't a fumble. It was just a forward pass that had nothing on it because he got drilled. So incomplete brings up fourth down. And we'll see Brett Thorson make his Orange Bowl debut here with 7-10 to go in the fourth quarter. <laughs> he, he might pull a hammy. <laughs> uh, he has not broken a sweat tonight outside of uh, pregame warm-ups, I guess. So let's hope he's stretched before coming into the game. They haven't had to punt tonight. Here's his first of the game. And the Australian will kick this one deep. Fair catch called for by Florida State. Back near the 10, Hakeem Williams, a freshman from Fort Lauderdale. 
And he'll make the grab down to the far left end of the field. In the vicinity of the 10, it'll be Florida State's ball. We've got a timeout here in Miami. 7-0-2 to play in Georgia's season and in Florida State's season. 63-3, dogs. Our second half brought to you by First Franklin Financial, serving our neighbors since 1941. We'll come back to Miami Gardens and Hard Rock Stadium in a moment on the Bulldog Sports Network. With Kroger brand products, you can make all your favorite things this holiday season. Because Kroger brand's proven quality products come at exceptionally low prices. And with a money-back quality guarantee, every dish is sure to be a favorite. Whether you shop delivery, pickup, or in-store, Kroger brand has all your favorite things. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Everyone deserves to smile like a champion, and Smile Doctors Orthodontics is here to help you, dogs fans. Smile Doctors accepts most insurance on customized braces and Invisalign treatment plans with in-office financing and 0% interest, so anyone can get the confident smile they've always wanted. With some of the country's leading orthodontists ringing the bell all over Bulldog Nation, it's easy to find a clinic near you. So get that amazing smile you deserve. Visit SmileDoctors.com today and book your free consult. That's SmileDoctors.com for Smile Doctors Orthodontics and Go dogs. The Piedmont Bank and the UGA Athletic Association are celebrating Bulldog business success with the 2023 Arch Award. The Arch Award recognizes former UGA student-athletes who are making their mark on the business world. See the full list of honorees and their stories at georgiadogs.com forward slash arch dash award. The Piedmont Bank. Banking elevated. Learn more at piedmont.bank. Member at DIC. Hello, I'm Neil Pruitt, Chairman and CEO of Pruitt Health. Our Georgia Bulldogs have shown us what happens when a great team pulls together. At Pruitt Health, our team helps you recover from surgery or a major health event. Nurses, therapists, a whole team dedicated to giving people the personalized care they need. Come join the Pruitt Health team. Email hireme at pruitthealth.com. That's hireme at pruitthealth.com. Pruitt Health is a proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs. Back at the Piedmont Healthcare Radio booth, 63-3, to Georgia with a 60-point lead. Did we tell you the largest margin of victory ever in a bowl game belongs to Georgia? They did it last year, 58-point win against TCU. They lead by 60 here tonight in the Orange Bowl with 7.02 to go. Florida State, it's own 11, far left into the field. Brock Glenn continues at quarterback in the shotgun. And he'll hand it off. A little misdirection to, is that Williamson? Darion Williamson? No, that's Singleton. Samuel Singleton, the running back. His first carry of the evening. Tackled by Terrell Foster. Uh, Maybe a short gain. Let's see after they unstack him. Yeah, I think he got about four, three or four to the 14. And Florida State will continue now. Without a huddle, up to the line. Yeah, three-yard run there for the Seminoles. Hard to see down on that end of the field where they spot the football. And George is going to be flagged for offside. Jordan Hall tried to anticipate the snap count and just kind of tiptoed right through the the B gap <laughs> between, the, between the center and the left guard. And uh, that'll be a five-yarder on the dogs. Defense number 44 causing the offense to fall start. Five-yard penalty, second down. Third penalty of the game on the dogs, I believe. Yeah, it's been a clean four. Excuse me. Yeah, been a been a really clean football game for Georgia. Uh, protected the football. Obviously, got a, a bunch of turnovers ourselves. Uh, outside of a couple of late sportsmanlike penalties, as we were celebrating, dogs have played very, very clean. And big reason to celebrate tonight, this performance by Georgia. Florida State will run it again with uh, Singleton. And Terrell Foster, redshirt freshman linebacker from Kennesaw, Georgia, with another tackle. Uh, up to the 20, and the game was won. Third down and a yard to go for Florida State. And like most of these statistical categories, Florida State really struggling in this one. They're 2 of 11 on third down conversion tries tonight. 
Boy, and that's been a story for Georgia all year long, the dominance that we've had through much of the season on third down. Offensively, being able to convert, being able to get teams off the field, a big reason for the dog success this year. They go with uh, Wildcat with Span. Do Span in, taking a direct snap. He'll run it straight ahead. And he's going to be stopped short. Third and one. Didn't get it. Going to be fourth down as Jamal Jarrett, a freshman. Big body, 6'5", 350 from Greensboro, North Carolina. In to jam it up. And they stop Florida State on third and a yard to go. So even third and minimal, and they can't convert. They're now 2 of 12 on third down tonight. Georgia's defense gets it done again. And here comes the punt unit. From the 20 of Florida State. Mastromano's had a busy night. He'll kick it away. Anthony Evans, the return man, he wants to run this one back. Caught at the 33. Starts to the right. And the whole Florida State punt coverage team goes with him, and they drill him around the 31-32 yard line and knock him back a yard or so. And Evans might be more of a daredevil back there (laughs) as a punt returner. He wanted to return that one. He didn't want to call a fair catch. Or probably the last one of the year. You're right. He was going to get his money's worth. Timeout here in the Orange Bowl with 4.37 to play. It'll be the dog's ball when we continue. 63-3. Georgia laying it on thick on Florida State. Our second half is brought to you by First Franklin Financial. Go see the friendly Franklin folks at one of their convenient Georgia locations and come on back. We've got the finish for you right after this on the Bulldog Sports Network. I'm attorney Ken Nugent, and I'm here with legendary Georgia Bulldog quarterback and radio host Buck Palou. Ken and I are teaming up to give back to the brave men and women of our military. Ken's going to donate $500 to one member of the military every Bulldog football game this season. If you're a member of the military, go to attorneykennugent.com to enter, and somebody is going to win $500 every game. One click, that's it. Ken Nugent, proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. When you look to Northside Hospital Heart Institute, you see excellence. With a mission to heal your heart, we use the most innovative techniques and treatments, all to provide patients customized options and the most effective outcomes. Northside's cardiac surgery program has earned the highest rating given by the Society of Thoracic Surgeons for both open heart surgery and aortic valve replacement. No matter how routine or complex your heart care, you can always look to Northside. To learn more, visit northside.com slash excellence. Agpro is your home team when it comes to the hard yardage. And a John Deere compact tractor is unbeatable, just like the dogs. With dozens of attachments, you can outfit your team player exactly how you want. We carry additional product lines coupled with knowledgeable and friendly parts, service, and sales staff. Visit your home team John Deere dealer at one of our 25 Georgia locations or visit us at agproco.com. Don't you mean fa la 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 la? Nope, we're shaking things up. Whatever you say. Shake things up this season at the Toyota Thon sales event. Lease a new 2024 Toyota RAV4 LE for $339 a month for 24 months, plus $500 holiday bonus cash. Toyota, let's go places. Offer valid through January 2nd, 2024. Well qualified lessees with approved credit through Southeast Toyota Finance. 3638 do it signing. No security deposit with select equipment. 350 disposition fee. Excludes tax, tag, registration, title, and dealer fees. See dealer for details. Georgia, four minutes and 37 seconds away from taking home a bowl of Florida oranges. Back with them to Athens, Georgia. Put that in the trophy case. And we'll run it with uh, Savon Clark. And I think that was, uh, was that Muschamp in there at quarterback to hand it off? Yes. Jackson Muschamp got a snap and handed it off. All right, we're going to have to get the roster out. There's a lot of clean uniforms in the game right now. A lot of walk-ons. Drake is in the game at quarterback. Where's my roster? I apologize. They snap it back and hand it off to Clark. He'll run it straight ahead. And Clark up across the 40. And Muschamp back in the game. We'll say we've got a little bit of a quarterback rotation 
to finish out the three minutes and 40 seconds remaining in this one. Colin Drake is the quarterback getting his first snaps in his Georgia career. Let's check in with Shock on the sidelines. Brought to you by attorney Ken Nugent. DJ. Yeah, fellas, that's what I was going to tell you about. Because Jackson's in the game. I'm sitting down here next to uh, Coach Muschamp, and he is cheesing his butt off watching his son get his first action in the game. Muschamp is back in at quarterback now, and Georgia will call a timeout with 3.08 to go in the contest. Georgia uses a timeout. That's the first one they've called in the entire game, I believe. They didn't use any in the first half. Piedmont Healthcare offers you exceptional, hassle-free care closer to home. Piedmont, the official health care provider of UGA Athletics. And the Dogs went over 600 yards of offense tonight, 656. 209 for Florida State. The Dogs rushed for 299, passed for, uh, let's correct that, 299 passing, 357 rushing for the Bulldogs. Florida State 146 through the air. Only 63 yards on the ground. Florida State turned it over four times. Uh, They were 2 of 12 on third down. Georgia 4 of 7 on third down. The Bulldogs have put it in the end zone just about every time they've had the ball tonight. That's our fourth quarter recap presented by Ag South, Ag Georgia, Southwest Georgia Farm Credit Loans for Land and Farms. Muschamp takes the snap. Going to keep it and run. Muschamp crosses midfield between the hash marks running for a first down. His teammates certainly like that. The Georgia sideline like that a lot as well. As Muschamp will head to the sideline now, pitches the ball back to one of the officials, and they spot it down at the 44-yard line of Florida State. If Will was cheesing it up before that play, he's going crazy right now. (laughs) Oh, there he is. First down signal from Will Muschamp. Dogs up to the line. And Drew Bobo is the center now. So you got Muschamp and Bobo, second generation in there. Here's a toss sweep by Georgia to the left to Joseph Daniels. They're running back now. Gets his first snap, first carry of the game. Georgia's offensive line, Miles Johnson, Drew Bobo, Jamal Merriweather, Chris Brown, Bo Hewley. So you got a lot of guys that haven't had an opportunity to take a snap this season that are getting theirs here in the Orange Bowl with less than two minutes to go. 63-3. to Georgia in front. Ball's on the 41-yard line of Florida State. Jackson must champ in the game at quarterback. Joseph Daniels to his right. Toss it to Daniels. Looking for blocking. And Florida State will make the tackle on Daniels. He didn't get all the way to the outside. He Planted that foot and cut back to the left, and he goes down at the 39-yard line. And Savon uh, Savon Clark will come back into the ball game now at running back, and we'll get Luke Bennett, the brother of former Georgia quarterback Stetson Bennett, into the game. Boy, big night for a lot of these guys that have never stepped foot on the field to be able to get your first snaps in the Orange Bowl. Pretty special. Minute to go. Colin Drake with a bootleg and a throw to Bennett on the far sideline. He bobbled it but caught it. I think he had possession before he went out of bounds. And there are two flags back in the Georgia backfield in the vicinity of the 50-yard line. Probably going to be roughing the passer. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense number 96. 15-yard penalty be added into the run. Automatic. First down. So if Georgia wants to, they've got another opportunity to score here with 50 seconds to go. I'll tell you what, if FSU, I, I doubt that we're going to take a knee just with these guys getting some initial snaps ever in a Georgia uniform. Florida State still going to have to play a little bit of defense, or we could see 70. Balls on the Florida State 23-yard line. Here comes the victory formation. Jackson must champ to take the snap and take a knee. And the clock begins to tick. We'll have to take one more snap, and then that will be it. Georgia will be Orange Bowl champions. 
for the fourth time in their fifth appearance here. They're, this is their fifth, and they've won it now four times over the long history of Georgia football going back to the 40s. One more kneel down by Muschamp, who finishes the game at quarterback. Some hugs from the guys on the field out there from Georgia's roster. The guys that are on the field are embracing one another. And now the clock will begin to tick for the final 10 seconds of the ball game. Both teams meeting in the middle of the field for a handshake and a congratulations and a resounding Georgia victory. 63-3. to the final, the Dogs win their 13th game of the season, finish the year at 13-1 and in Florida State's 19-game winning streak here tonight in Miami. 63-3, to the final. Stay tuned. Post-game coverage of the Orange Bowl is straight ahead here on the Bulldogs Sports Network. Wherever the road takes you this holiday, make it memorable in the ultimate driving machine. Step into the BMW X5 with capable performance, cutting-edge technology, and unmistakable presence. Or chart a different course in the BMW X3. With style and powerful all-terrain versatility, there's no limit to your adventure. Find your ultimate BMW X3 or X5 at the Road Home Sales Event. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Proud sponsor of Georgia Athletics. Visit BMWATL.com for great offers. Go dogs! When the game's on the line, you can count on the Georgia Bulldogs to hunker down and pull out the victory. For over 20 years, Walton Gas has defended against tricky schemes like introductory rates and hidden fees. You always score with Walton's best-in-class service and straightforward rate plans. It's time you join a winning team. Sign up with the champs of customer satisfaction, Walton Gas. Call or visit waltongas.com to learn more about Georgia's most trusted natural gas provider. And as always, go dogs! Don't go anywhere. The dogs are coming right back. You're listening.